Hello everybody, and welcome to the latest World of ZZT livestream. Where today we are hopefully finally going to wrap up Sibian here with our third stream of this quite lengthy ZZT world. There's just so much, and as we've seen, despite how much there is, it's uh, it's gone downhill pretty fast. And I don't think it's going to recover all that much, unfortunately. But we've got to see how this ends. We're committed to the bit now. When we last left off, we started... We found a secret tunnel to a city? The fortress? We also got in a lot of debt. We took out a loan for, like, 5,000 gems, and we are going to have to pay that back. And that's actually pretty much what, like, most of the rest of the game is going to be about. Our goal is now gems. We were wandering around in some caves here, beneath like sleep, uh, sleeping barracks full of soldiers or something. And then I realized there's just so dang much that I just stopped right here. Let's start checking out some of these passages because there's, well, I guess passage, but there's other access. There's plenty of places to go. There's still a lot to see. There's almost 30 boards to go. So here we are, you know, in the fortress. It's got that checkered tile we've been warned about in that castle siege game we played a few weeks ago on Sunday. Oh, you're not even going to talk to me. Okay. All right, any of them? Okay, treasury. Well, we do need money. Oh no, they had to call the plumber. There's been a flood. Thank you for the resubscription, Sinfandel. I'm sorry that our notifications are actually currently broke. I broke them once again. That's, that's some applause for you, my apologies. I'll still get the notifications and stuff, but... Oh, we're missing out on some important dialogue here. There's a flood in the treasury and there's some plumbers and one of them is just eating food. Bad break. Okay, so I guess they gotta fix the leak? This is that background dialogue we saw at the start of the game, except now it's plumbers arguing with each other. I'm also realizing now that they're red and green, and I'm sure that's 100% deliberate. Good sound effects, though. Ah, oh, my sure. What do you wish from me? Information. Well... All I can tell you is that the reason I can't get to the vaults is because there's a flood, and the flood is resulting from a broken pipe. But don't despair, I have two fine plumbers on the job. Oh, what were their names? The Fettuccini Brothers? No, hmm, I know I knew their name. Okay, so we're just playing this up. Well, give me money. Can't until the flood has been fixed. Can I give you money? Nope. Oh, okay. I remember there was something stupid here. Well, maybe not. I think there's there's more. Oh, okay. Rook is the one now telling us to get Megazooks. Haven't heard enough about that wonderful program yet. I guess this is our doorman. Okay. We will not open the gate for nothing. <laughs> During this wheel, Rook tells himself he could open the gate, but the guard would just kill him. I'm glad he's got some self-preservation. Most ZZT protagonists do not. Throne room? That seems important. Surely the king has money. Rook Eldane of Vespin, your majesty, has arrived. Yeah, I guess. Like, Rook really stops being serious in the back half of this game. Ah, uh, the young Eldane. My spies have alerted me of your arrival to the castle. Word of your deeds to the Overseeker of Vespin has reached my ears. Apparently you are chasing some kind of villain. We searched our castle for enemy spies. We found two. I am afraid there is still some loose, and if they do an inside job, we might just lose Daraquin in a siege. So here's what I want you to do. 
go to the dungeon and find out who else is in my castle and where this villain of yours is that you chase. Obviously, you have above average credentials in this area, so that is why I want you to do it. I'm pretty sure this villain of yours is behind the siege. Now go. So if you forget our backstory, Rook is a disgraced noble whose mother tried to overthrow the government and got killed and he kind of had to flee, so I don't know why he's going around telling people who he is, but he is a big blue throne. Oh, nothing again. No progress. Nothing is going to happen. Got plenty more passages to go, though. This one's blocked off. King's Personal Chambers. Okay. I think these guys just wander around until they bump into a wall and then change direction. Okay, a new, a new pub. New music? Not as good as the old music. A small table. Only two or three people can fit around it. Rook decides. He's very proud. Okay, so the soldiers all hate me. What, what beeped? What made that noise? Got a cold frosty one. No thanks. Yellow. Rook searches the counter for loose change and finds none. Our hero, everybody. We are in debt. Oh, well, I guess I can. I have a key. I mean, there's something weird going on back here, that's for sure. Please only. You can't come in. They're already playing a game. Megazooks. Which I guess is a is now an eight player tabletop experience? Are they playing two copies of Brotherhood? Locked into position. Slot machine? Now we're not supposed to have like any of the gems that we have. Because they were all supposed to be taken away by an evil snake. Insert a gem. Pull the lever. I lost. That's the worst. They're collectively matching all the Megazooks games that never came out. That's rough. What a horrible sound. Let's do it again. I got money to burn. I'm beginning to think I can't actually win, though. If you don't win a slot machine in two tries, it must be broken. I set this maze up to challenge people. Oh boy. You can get to the end in fast enough time. I'll give you a prize. Let's save. Oh. I need 100 gems first. Well, at least I was already short before I played the slots. What's this corner? Anything? No. And what about up here? Is this like a little arena, maybe? Oh, it's going to be this kind of arena. Okay, so this is just straight up a casino. Yeah, with a big hump on its back? I've got 100 gems riding on that, baby. It is too intense on the fight. Oh, well, the fight doesn't seem to have started yet. Oh, they're just... What, what animals are we going to make fight here? Explain, yes. First you place a bet on a monster that you want to have win. Once someone has placed a bet on that monster, no one else can. Fight begins once each monster has a bet placed on it. The monster that is still living after the fight is the winning bet. Then the winner claims all the other bets. When betting, he must go with the current bet. Usually people bet about 100 gems, and that's about it. Can I bet less? Ooh, I can look at the odds first, though. Shivka Star 1, Shivka Star 2... And Kublex Khan, one in a thousand. Alright, let's, let's go for the respectable second favorite here.
Nope, can't do it. Somebody already bet on. Also, it's a hundred gem, so I'm not gonna be able to afford it anyway. Okay. Also, I have to bet on the long shot, apparently. But I do not have the money, so we'll never get to see. Okay. Well, that was a bust. I am. I am now more poor than I was. Hang on. This looks like a a man versus beast arena. Oh, you're gonna have a hard time being an object trying to shoot tigers. There are duplicators too, which would indicate that I'm gonna be able to participate. Gruesome. This is all of you right now. You can wallop those them. My friend bet me the imps would get this man, but I bet him the orcs would. This man's gonna die. Teach me how to play the arena. The arena wizard will conjure up illusions that look like monsters. Okay, so the other animals were real, but not these ones. But these ones can still hurt me. Once they touch you, they will disappear. The object of the game is to last long enough in the arena. You win, you get a special surprise. You lose, well, just don't. Oh, I didn't know there was something that would actually let you do that. That does seem useful. Uh, can I go talk to the rest of the audience? Doesn't look it. Alright, well. I've got 26 ammo. Ah, and just in time, too. The other guy died. Now it's my turn. I do have a lot of health. I do not have the ammo for this, though. How long do I have to survive? They really should have told me this. There we go. I can survive as long as it takes. Let's mute that. Hello, I'm fighting not actual animals in the arena. They made it very clear these are illusions conjured by a wizard. And I only have to survive. I win! What was my reward? Oh. Hey, I'll take it. I outsmarted them. Well, that solves the ammo problem. You know, I guess we don't. We were at another arena which did not make it explicitly clear that the animals that were going to fight each other weren't real. They seem to be real. Okay, that's a lot of ammo, actually. He's constant. Oh, this must be the wizard. Oh, worth a shot. Literally. Oh, this is the same guy. Luck shot. All this and it's just the same dialogue? Oh, okay. I tried from the wrong spot. There's really no need to have the player be able to get to the left half though. Everybody just says the exact same thing. Could have just cleared out the path on the right. Right, well, we've got ammo. Um, hmm. We seem to be currently out of options, though. Now, we met the plumbers who are red and green, and brothers. We don't know what their names are. The bank teller wouldn't tell us. We can't do anything in the bank because it's been flooded. Blue door, okay. What do we got up here? More caves. Um, oh, actually, I remember this being kind of neat the last time I played this game. Light a fresh torch. So you finally got here. My brother's been ranting and raving about you. Who's your brother? 
Orchivan, the magician, boy. Have you been out in the sun too long? He's been helping you, he says. Of course. Everyone's related. Rook is making a lot of great deductions in this in this episode here. How many people can fit at a table. That people are related to each other. Anyways, I've been working on something for you. Let me just get my cane. Cane, come here, cane. Perfect. Now I'll just use my cane to remove this force field and whoops, I just remembered something I need to do. This will only take a second. Sit in the corner, cane. He just sent that cane flying into my face. Alright, dragon's blood. Oh, we'll never know what the other things are. Before the king goes into any battle, he likes to make sure that they don't break into the castle. I am just making a simple potion that will cause the gate to be, well, let's just say impenetrable. It's hard to describe, but only for a short period of time. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. So we got that dragon's blood. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. What? I want to know what... Cockatrice sweat. Goodness. Now, what was that incantation? I hate when I have to walk back and forth between my potion shelf and my spell book. You gotta learn how to make that thing go flying. Here it is. Roof. Oh, I got Roof Zubo and Arc something. Good spell, though. Oh, and he's gone. I guess now we can read his spell book. Or not. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rook looks around quickly to see if the old wizard is gone. Then ever so carefully, he picks the staff up and waves it around. He wonders if the force field is gone. I guess we're just going to take some armor and a bow, some arrows, the shield. This guy wanted to help us. And he's just like, oh, hang on, I gotta make a potion for the king first. Mystery vial. And now we're just looting him. Wizard has acquired some strange items. But this one seems to be the strangest of all. Rook wonders what it's for. The thingy. Well. I guess that was productive. What else we got in this cave of wonders? A man. Why even put him here? Maybe we can actually get here from the other side normally. What was that man doing? There's something... Oh! Oh, right! This is the torture room. Alright, how much the chains wind? This man won't speak. He's tough as nails. Winding the crank is a hard, sickening job. I'll leave them be. I think this person's getting getting whipped. Oh, okay. Well, whatever it is, it hurts me to look at it. Oh, it's a hot poker. Okay, I just touched that. Every now and then it burns his flesh. My god. I think I got him talking. These must be the captured spies we've heard about. All right, yes, give us the details. Where's Aprithia? I forgot this game had a torture scene. There's a secret passage behind the throne. It's actually a lead. You can, yeah, you can stop with that. Boy, the other guy, though, he's, he's going for it. Uncle Fester over there. Sleeping at the gate. Oh, these are prison cells. Okay, those are just the bars. Prisoners are so restless, it drives me nuts. And with being so dark down here, a guy can get outright nervous. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no, like, decorative torches or anything. Oh, hey! Well, you know, it looks like the, the torture room is, is right next to the police station.
for the purposes of the purposes of this game though, why? Why am I back here? It says I can go up, which again wouldn't be obvious. And actually I think that's from the other passage. What no what? This really just connects and does nothing. Oh okay. Okay. Wow, so that's how you get this ammo from, like, the start of the game. You just get two-thirds of the way through it and come back. Can I get from here to, like, the first half of the game? I don't think there's any reason to, but... You go away. No, not that button. Okay. Sorry. Uh, can I get out of here? Well, I've definitely been here before, because it let me, like, talk to a... Jesus, Rook, okay. It's kicking down prison doors. You freed me, yes! But I don't want to leave. I mean, think about it. Clean walls and floors, three meals a day, friendly officers. I never want to leave. Just look, lots of room. Drafty winds, cold floor, no windows, rats the size of your head, no special benefits at all. On second thought, I'll be going now. Where are you going? That's the way to the shark room. Don't go that way. No. Oh. And just burst through the wall, okay. Well, that's probably important. A small circle has been chipped out of the brick. Some writing is in it. It reads A5 D0. I don't know what that means. What about now? This guy was awake. Will he say anything if I. No? Okay. I guess. So, wait, what's up from here? Now, I have to avoid the sharks. And the guns. Nothing. The player doesn't get to go this way. We didn't need to do that. Well, that was weird. And it doesn't seem to let you actually go back. Which is definitely a shame, because there's, like shops in the beginning. I guess, again, we are supposed to be broke. Right. Let's continue. Oh. So we know about the passage from the throne room. I think there was another passage outside of this cave we didn't go in. I just want to take a quick look. Okay, no, I'm just misremembering. That's for the best. Alright, off to the throne room then. That's about the only only lead we've got. Ah, okay. I do recall a passage being around here, but I'm not quite sure. I think it's right up here. Let's see. Here. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. I think I broke it because I talked to him. What am I supposed to do then? He's standing in the way. Also, I was flipping through the boards because I was like, I remember this part being very easy to get stuck at. So I did find out there's a secret passage here. A different one. This is the bonus board. Welcome to the bonus board. We've got fireworks. We've got YouTube, I guess, in the corner. I don't know what Y and T mean. We've got snakes? They're not saying anything. We've got a black door. Use these arrows to shoot the target on the top of the screen. 
Watch your meter and the tar- oh, okay, that's our health. You and them, I suppose. That was all about for sure. Got him. Oh. oh, I thought that was going to be Barney. It's just the author. Hello. Looks like you found this secret board, which you can see perfectly in monochrome mode. And looks like you beat the target which fires at you. Easy, wasn't it? Well, I'm just here to say that you need to get Megazooks. Why? Here's why. Character editing. Lots of stuff. Digital music. Plus lots of built-in stuff. Free game with shareware. Now go get it. It's, it does have stuff. He's not wrong. Is this our exit? Oh, but how do I... Get a black key. I don't know. Like, more than anyone else, they are so on board for Megazooks. Uh, if I talk to these dudes, no, the king. I'm beginning to suspect this is just one of the game's many bugs. Goodbye, Captain. Sorry I had to come to this. I hope you're not important for anything else, because I just erased you. As you step into the passageway, your foot reaches out to nothing but air. You plummet several feet before landing on the cold, hard floor. Brushing aside the cobwebs, you prepare yourself for the unknown. You gonna get more spiders? I'm gonna get the forest as spider- Yeah, yeah, remember these guys? They killed me instantly. They're not leaving corpses this time, so presumably we don't need to poison anybody. Alright. Is it safe? Safe ish. Got him. Oh, well, okay, these ones aren't poisonous. Hey, they do bite a lot though. safe. We've gotten past the spiders. Huh. Bad guy life. Rook pulls out the four garlic arrows and throws the rest away. Oh, did I just accidentally, like, cheat to the final boss? Hang on. <laughs> So one thing I did do also is I numbered all the boards. Did uh, okay. So actually, board number was that was seventy four. I don't want that. I need finds. Oh here, trace it out this way. We went in here to forty six to the throne room. 51. Okay, what's your deal? If torture, then send yo. What a great line of code. Yo, clear torture. You recall a special passage. Oh, okay. So we're supposed to get garlic first. We don't have garlic, right? The game assumes we do by this point, because we would. Let me look at my flag list here real quick. Okay, yeah. We, we do not have the garlic arrows. Okay. So I just jumped the gun. That doesn't make any... 
I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's just what displays its sense is broken, doesn't Okay. Sorry. We need to... We need to find some garlic before we can officially go that far. Uh, oh, oh, and you're... That's right, there's like a fall here, so you're like stuck stuck. What was that board number? I'm glad I did number all this stuff. Okay, 51. Oh, sorry. Okay. Somebody remind me, when we do get the garlic, to show the dialogue that we missed from this captain, because it's something, alright. Oh, sorry. One last time. Poor number. 51. 51. Okay, well. We still have some keys we haven't found doors for. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the bank, because I do remember something absurd here. Yeah, you shoot that, and then there's a bomb, and then the bank teller defuses the bomb? You're just wasting your time. Okay, but that's no help. Sorry, the correct action, if I think, is to actually light it? There we go. Okay, we killed the bank employee by finding a hidden bomb, only discoverable by shooting a teller window. And again, I have no idea if there's any clues for this that I'm missing. There's still a lot of boards. Here's the plumbers. We're struggling. Oh, okay, but I can go into the vaults now, I guess. Here's the vault. Okay, that's one of our keys. A. Oh, okay. So, how many do we got? What's this go up to? D? E? E. Okay. So we've got A equals 5 and D equals 0, so I'm sure that's what that's about. That's good. I do remember last time I played this, I could not find out how you were supposed to get the combination here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Whoa. Oh, okay, there's an invisible wall, so when I tried to go around, I ended up just pushing it too far and broke it. Great, thanks. Five. Why? Why is this here? Why are you doing this effect right now? What does this do for the game? Oh, okay. Incorrect combination. Now, in town you only get one shot. Can I keep... Yeah, okay. It won't fire another bullet. So, again. Let's just not go that way. Right, so... Still no progress. I mean, we're able to get to the vault. I guess that's something. Any other hints? Oh, oh. Okay. Multiple bombs. Sorry, boys. I have to find out. They're resilient. Okay, but... I still don't know where to go. I know there's a desert, like there's something surely on the like overworld that we missed. Also, I'm just gonna look real fast. Can we get into the king's personal chambers? What board are we on? 46. Now, where does this go? Oop. What? Why is Kev Edit not showing up now? Wrong thing. Hang on. Uh, 
Well, that was weird. Okay. Yes. All right, so this goes to 46. Okay, so we don't actually get in here. Fair. All right, so we gotta find this, this red door. Some more bank vault numbers. And some garlic. I'm just... There's no danger and we've got hundreds of torches. We're not gonna run out. What else here? What else? Uh, did we ever go? That's right, that's right. I don't think we ever actually went east from here. Or like we needed a key and I bet it's the red key. I hope it's the red key. Back to this cool starry scene. Lots of sharks, good water. I will just continue to praise these three boards. White door. Was this the bizarre actually that's that's the bizarre that's for sure um hmm how many we got here we still got plenty um just gonna okay. do some tunneling don't need to walk that giant path is there anything relevant here Huh. I would love to see how you're supposed to play through this game legit. Like, what is the actual order of operations? Because I still don't know. Ammo. This guy. Beautiful torches for beautiful people. Nobody's selling like a white key. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. They're like 10 gems for two gems. Hey, wait. Oh no, okay. They're not actual boulders here. So that's no help either. Hmm. Okay. We gotta walk all the way back, huh? Let's, let's do that. Um, nothing, nothing new here. That spider, I think, was the poison from like way back at the start of the game. It's the torture room on the east. What about this one? Uh, this was wizard. Can't shoot. Okay, well. Flipping through the old closer look now. To the vaults. Okay. So we're supposed to get into the vaults next, because that'll get us the white key. All right, yeah, okay, that's what we're supposed to do. How are we supposed to find these other digits? Real fast. Dash five. Oh, wait. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna walk, other than, otherwise I'm guessing or taking the time to look. I have a theory? I don't think it's a good theory. I'm gonna be disappointed if it's correct. All right, treasury is down here. But I think... No, because it goes to E. Let's just see. Let's just take a peek. 
It's the actual combination is because. Five, five. Okay, there goes my theory. I was worried it was going to be five, four, three, two, one, zero. But also, for one thing, that's if you start with five, D will not be zero. Let's see, B dash. That's a tough thing to search for. C dash. B dash five. Searching for B dash. Wow. Wow. This is mean. I figured it out. This is incredibly mean. Nobody has ever beaten this game legitimately. Right, I'm just going to write down 53 is the bank, because we're going to be going back here. Let's find out how you get to the last three digits. Whatever you're thinking, it's significantly stupider. Two is two a good one? Yeah, sure, two's good. Anyways, here's Bespin, the very start of the game. Here's the library. Here's a poster which we can arbitrarily decide to tear it down if we touch it again. And here's the digits. Again, it takes us back to the jail board. That connection could have been made and it would still be awful, but you'd be able to like do it. Like I would need to start the game over to find this information legitimately in this playthrough. It is too late to go back here normally. You cannot return. So here's our remaining digits. It is all of them. <laughs> if we vandalize a library. Thanks, Rook. It better be. There's a lot there's a lot to improve in the Megazooks version at least. Alright, we're going back to 53. I didn't bother writing those down because I have the lights on. But I hope they actually do match, or I'll be even more upset with this game than I actually am right now. Okay. We then commence the vault opening process. Oh my god. You're kidding me. You could you could not have done this any better. All right, what's what's your deal? <sighs> okay. Try West back. Go. Stop using go as a label. It doesn't work. Right. Cheating into the bank vault as well. Rook opens the vault door and is literally astounded to see millions of gems piled into the room. Not letting anyone notice, Rook only takes a few gems. Thank you for the gems. But I will say that Rook took like almost five, or Rook took exactly 5,000. You gave me 50. Just saying. Thank you for the 50 bits. Also, I think there is something you can do with the plumbers here. Board 80. Let's take a look at that one, too, just to make sure, because we actually are almost done with this game now. Okay, that's nothing. That makes sense. Okay, well, the editor confirms. We got Luigi, and we got Mario. No? Okay. 
I'm remembering wrong. The famous Fettuccine Brothers. All right. We still don't have the garlic. We still need to go back. Oh, I should have wrote that board number down. 60? Nope, not 60. Let's teleport into the middle of a desert. Let's flip through. I'm just going to find the number. That will be faster in this case than walking through. Like 30 boards. Uh, 54. A cruel, cruel game. 50 more bits for 54 boards. Thank you. Uh, were you the lone shark? Oh, I never even took my beautiful torches. Okay. A pleasure to do business with you. As a free gift, I'll give you this white key I found. Now get lost. What is this red key for? I'm still unsure of. Alright. Now we're on to the desert maze, which is also like a dozen boards. I did write this one down, so we're going on a walk. Get ready, everybody. East to board 58. Good diet. Great joke. North to board 59. East to board 60. West to 61. North to 62. South to 64. East to 65. And there we go. Now, the last video, last time we were playing this, we did buy a map and they did give like a big confusing list of directions, which I'm pretty sure is the solution to this maze. So that that's at least in there. You do not actually have to solve the maze by just praying. There's our red door. Good thing we had that key. I don't remember where we got the red door. I'm a loop guy myself. This cool. Because I didn't spend enough time walking. I guess this has to be the way to the garlic. Oh, please don't. Why are you doing this? This is all because I've been pronouncing your name wrong for the past, like, 20 years. More than that. Yeah, I, I busted them again. All the audio works, and I still get the event and everything, but it is sound only for today. It should be fixed by Sunday, at least. I already, I'm, I'm certain of what I did, I just need to change some text. Yeah, this is actually probably one of the longest CTT games. It's just, unfortunately, even if you were, like, trying to praise it from that angle, there are several game-breaking bugs. The perfect game. All this for a bed. A oh, hermit's bed. Which has nothing under it. I'm glad Rook immediately tries to rob this guy. Who are you? Care to buy some herbs or spices? We. Oui. What would you like? Sugar. I'll add a sugar. Cinnamon. I'll add cinnamon. Salt. Pepper. An assorted set of spices. Alright, let's just buy our garlic. Here's your garlic, sir. Thank you, kind hermit. Now do this backwards? Does, do I really have to actually do the desert maze backwards? I guess not technically, because that has enough, like, wrong turn takes you back to basically the beginning. I don't know. 
Let's see, let's see if I can do this backwards. Sorry. We'll do this, we'll try it legit. Oh my god, this one too, huh? No. I've had enough. Okay. Here we are. This game is a classic. I will defend the first, like, 20 boards to the death. This game is... Very non-linear, despite being story-driven, and I don't think, like, most CZT games just abandon non-linearity as soon as the plots got more involved than get purple keys. Like, I do have a genuine respect for the Bespin part of this game. Even if the... Oh, good. Okay. I, I, I liked that. Just go left. I do respect this game, and what it did is just, yeah. But the thing is, that 25% still takes a while when you're a kid. I, I think my Closer Look article when I first played through this game entirely, I'm pretty sure I just said at the end, like, hey, play this game, and the second you feel like you don't know what to do to proceed, just stop playing. Because you've probably already softlocked several times over. And if you do that, you'll like get to explore a fun little town and collect strawberries and maybe a poison spider if you're lucky. But the second you get to the actual cave and have to do that first fight with a Prithia, it just just plummets in quality. It still looks okay. That's something. Lots of walking. I'm realizing as I just do this on autopilot. But okay, we've got we've got the garlic arrows. Seventy-three out of eighty-two. Is it all just other desert boards? I don't think there's that much. Into the throne room. Right, and as I said, we do got to see this dialogue. We especially have to see it after our talk with the hermit. Alright, so what you're supposed to do is... Are you ready? Not yet. Are you ready now? Rook sprinkles garlic on four arrows, and only four. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Why has Rook become French at the end of this game? I don't know. And so does this guy. I don't get it. Is he supposed to be French? I mean, he could be. There's no reason not to. Alright. So we've got our garlic. And we plummet six feet to the ground. We fight some less dangerous spiders. And now it's time for the final boss fight. And it's not good. I do like the bad guy life. Bad guy life is good. But pulls out the four garlic arrows and throws the rest away. I won't need hundreds of ammo. Four should be enough. What? How did you find me? Lucky, I guess. Ah, well, I shall leave. Not without these. What is it with you and enchanted arrows? Oh, nothing. Here. Just hold them for a second. Well, okay. Perthia takes the arrows from Rook. Hmm, I feel funny. Yeah, now you're mortal. Whoa, gotta run. Now I feel really strange. Cool. Chaos. I guess he's chaos now. Now shoot and save. 
Four arrows. Shooting gallery. Final boss fight. He moves completely randomly, so you can't even try to time it. You just have to get lucky. I didn't. Four. Eight. Oh, oh, almost. Hope you like that title screen jingle. Rook sucks. That's why. I'm sorry. He's not. A, he's not a good character. He gets worse as the game goes along. He stops caring. I think I think we get the picture here. One. Two. Three. Four. So yes, yeah, so you do have to have perfect accuracy with your Lucky shots. You just have to go four for four. Still a lot of boards. As it turned out, Aprithia became a small pile of black ashes. Everyone hailed Rook as a hero, and after that, things pretty much went back to normal. But this isn't what happens in the Megazooks version. Well, now you've won this game. You got a nice high score, so press the button over there to start the credits. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering, this is me, and this is Barney. And now we know. Gag. Is he gonna kill Barney? Oh, he's gonna. Got him. He'll be back. He always comes back. Well, that about wraps it up. Just hit that button over there to end the game and record your score. Ciao! Ah, the lights button. The end. I thought I said we were going to get some credits. There we go. The credits. Oh, it's struggling. Why is it struggling? I guess the screen is updating, like, constantly right now. Thanks, buddy. Beta testing. Hey, guys. Jacob Page. Just you, and only you. This game was brought to you by... Magic. 1995. Still didn't actually end the game. Okay. Thanks for playing Zivian ZZT. So what did you think of it? It was the best ZZT game I've ever played. It was the best game I've ever played. It was the best game I'll ever play. Tough choices here. I should have saved. What if I close this window, actually? Yeah. Okay, nope. But thou must. All right. Colbert show ending. Best easy T game I've ever played. And some farewell flashing. Civian. Hang on here. Uh, what do we miss? There's still several boards we never got to see. We didn't exhaust all the contents of this game. What's board 57? Desert, okay. That tracks. 63, I think that's also going to be desert. Yeah. 66. More desert. But they can't all be desert. We got these two. Ah! 
The yellow bordered room. Stop moving so much. A little better, but not much. I don't know how you get here. Ew, still ugly. It needs more work. Well, I'm looking a little nicer, I guess. That. Oh, I actually do have enough now. Here? How am I supposed to get here? Right. 79. Oh, this was the plug at the start. I know we did this. We saw that promo for sure. Oops, not that. Oh, because that was 79. Stop. I keep wanting to quit out when I shouldn't be quitting out. 81. Menu. Okay. So I guess that is like everything then. Um. Well. For reference, board one. Yeah, we've definitely been to board one. Okay. Um, shoot. Well, I guess that's that's the end as it was. There was there was something else we wanted to see, like the oh right, the other part of this bonus word. If you get one of these black keys, which I don't know, I didn't see any passages here. Like it didn't show any on the HUD. What was that bonus room? Because there is more to that, the bonus board, as it were. Oh, I gotta refund you for that one. Your, that redeem is a rip if it doesn't actually display anything. That's the whole point. Through board numbers. Where is the bonus room? There are too many boards in this game. Here it is. It's number 27. Alright, so what was this button for? The last mystery. Nothing? Hello? Really? Is that just like an abandoned concept? Oh, it was just giving me stuff and I didn't notice. That's fair. I'll accept that. I just wasn't looking at my, my numbers. Okay, and this is all the... Yeah, these are just all the weird animations. Right. Well. You've seen Sivian. Except, well, the ZZT part, of course. Except for its most defining feature. And actually, apparently, I am on an outdated Kev edit here, so I have no easy way to display it. But our, our infamous colon seaboard, I think, I think a lot of people are familiar with this one now. Let me just come up with a good way to show it real quick. Uh, let's just do a new scene real fast, like. Or actually, do I have? Nope, I don't. Okay, everybody. Uh, I, I am terrible with OBS. This text probably isn't legible right now. Where the heck is the fit button? There it is. No, not 800. Not 600. That'll do. As you can see, you cannot edit this game. I finally had enough sense to superlock it. There is no need to edit it for it has been fully beta tested and has no errors. If you are trying to rip my ideas, too bad. You'll have to figure out how you'll just have to figure out how I did this. And furthermore, 
you should stop wasting you time with ZZT and get Megazooks. Now go away. No editing. Fully beta tested, no errors. The, the greatest of games. Perfect in every way. No feedback, no lessons, no moral. That's Sivian. It's a game with no issues. Also, yes, like nobody would have been able to see that for quite some time. Apparently, I'm running a very old version of KevEdit on here because I'm pretty sure new versions do let you look at ports like that. I gotta set up like Z -Edit, a ZEdit 2 scene or another browser scene again, actually. I should not have to manually toss all that stuff together at the last second like that. But that's Sivian. I like the beginning. Not the very beginning, where you have to input a password to actually be able to play the game. But the regular beginning. I like, I like going to the pub, I like going to the little museum. I like, I like the shop sequence, where you like, even though that's also an easy sh soft lock. Man. Be nice, this is the, the Civian Gold Edition. Uh, the original version remains lost. The text file says, like, if you've got it, get rid of it. But if you've got it, for the love of God, send it in. I would love, like, my, my number one potential find would be the original version of this game. I would love to see what this looked like originally. Before, before Megazook showed up and ruined everything, apparently. But that's gonna do it for tonight. Hope you all had fun with this incredible game. And I do still stand with what I originally said, that like, the beginning of this game is good, it's still fun. Also, yes, let's do your raid that you tried to do like two weeks ago now. I would love to see what this originally looked like, and I'm, like, I'm sure it's got all these same errors. Actually, maybe... Maybe the beta tester only played like the first half. For all I know, the back half of this game is like all added in the gold. Because it does say there's new boards. I don't know what you would add to this game if not the entire like back chapter. Alright, that's going to do it for tonight. We're going to be back again Sunday afternoon at noon Pacific with some more unpreserved ZZT worlds, of which I should probably pick at this point. And we'll be back again next Friday. Hmm, we should be playing the Megazooks version of this, and I think we will do that. But I also kind of want to take a break from this game. We'll see. I'll take a look at the Megazooks version and see exactly how I'm feeling. We'll figure that out. And we will pass the raid over to Zero X Diamonds. Alright, I'm going to cut off the recording here. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time. Later.